evening. It's a uh, Friday night, Friday the 6th of May, and I'm back on Windmill Pool, Earlswood. Uh, those of you who watched the last video from here know that I didn't catch anything myself, but my friend Andy, he had a gorgeous 23 pound mirror at about half 11 last Saturday night. So I'm back here again. It's, uh, the weather's brilliant. It's about 22 degrees, which is fantastic. So, you know what I mean? Hopefully, I'll, uh, I'll have something to show for it. I've been here about an hour. It's about half seven, quarter to eight, I think. So the rods have just gone in and uh, I'm gonna settle in, get all my gear sorted because it's a bit of a mess at the moment, I'm trying to get everything sorted before it gets dark, but I've managed to get the rods in. So, I'm gonna put a bit of bait out, and fingers crossed, as darkness falls, I'll have something. So, the next time you see me, hopefully I'll have a fish on the bank. Fingers crossed. Catch you later. Right then, it's a uh, Sunday morning. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> and we've got our first fish. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. He's that with him. Yeah, it's in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sunday morning and we got one. Didn't have anything during the night but just to the right of me is a big overhanging tree and I could hear the fish boshing out all night long. So I've put a chod underneath the tree. It went twice this morning and I lost both underneath the tree. And eventually we got this one. She's not too big, but it's a start. So I'm gonna whack the chod back underneath the tree and see if we can have another one. Poker, catch you later. We just found a warm patch. <laughs> no, that's you, mate, fishing, you said. Is it got out? I can feel it. What's that there on that branch? That white thing? Yeah. On the end of the branch there? Oh, so it's a snapped branch. Ah, uh, right. He's staying in there. So the chub will slide off. Now he's free, once he pulls. Yeah, yeah. The chub will slide straight off the end of the line. What a bastard. Did, how big was it? I couldn't tell, but he's... His head. I had my, head, my hand on his head like that. Yeah. And you know what I mean? He's... I thought we are on a Thai holiday, mate. And you're in the water and everything after the fish. 
Well, you best get out, mate, and draw yourself off. I'm just trying to get my breath out, mate. I can't want that fuck. Put your, uh, put your foot against the bottom, and I'll give me your hand, and I'll pull you up, and leave your foot up, you know what I mean? Rather than try and get yourself up. Put your foot like that. Hold on. On there, and I'll give me your hand, and I'll give you... Fuck's that? Jesus. What? Just get the fucking logs out of me. Yeah, mate. It's a stick to fall water, that is. What? You want an hand or are you going to do it in your own? As you've seen from the previous clip, I've been for a little swim. No sooner as I uh, put that first rod back under the tree, literally five minutes later, it was off again. But uh, it, it was a much bigger fish this time as well. Unfortunately, he's darted straight underneath the tree. I was, I was completely locked up, but he's, he still managed to get underneath the roots of the tree. Couldn't do anything with it. So I've ended up having to get in the lake. Spent about 10 minutes in the water trying to sort it out. I, I could feel the fish. I had, my, I had my hand on its head. But after 10 minutes or so, it was just getting more and more underneath the roots. So in the end, I had to give up. So I've had to, uh, had to snap off, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully the fish is okay. It would have uh, would have swam off, I think. It was on the chod rig, so it would have uh, slid straight off the other end, hopefully. But that's the way it goes sometimes. You win some, you lose some. But uh, yeah, so that's three lost under that tree now, and one caught. I'm not sure whether to stick the chod back out there now, just in case it happens again. Don't fancy going for another swim. But there you go. Still, crack on. Catch you later. Hiya. It's Monday morning and it's nearly time to go. So, we haven't had anything else during the night. A few liners, a bit of interest off bream, as usual, but no carp, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna have a slow pack up and head off. Ended up losing five fish yesterday and just landing the one. But that's the way it goes. So, until next time, Catch you later.